back at the trailhead. Week three, I got picked up, uh, picked up my buddy Roger. Hey Ty. He's at elk camp with us. Nice camp. We'll get it all set up later. <laughs> Looks elky. Oh yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, Roger's been hunting with me for about four years. Um, we've had a lot of close calls, a lot of good memories, and uh, he comes out every year from Washington. He's hunted Montana for 22, 23 years, so he comes out every year, and we get to spend a few days together and see if uh, see if this year is the year. But we got three days, try to kill one here, and then. Uh, my dad comes in Saturday, it's Monday. So dad gets here Saturday. We got six more days to get him a bull. And we're just gonna give it hell. Sounds pretty good. September 22nd, dad's here, the hunt begins. We're gonna try to get this done here, it's six days. So we are parked where we wanna be. We're gonna head up this drainage where we heard probably five bulls last week and uh, see if we can get one of them to talk and come right to us. Yeah, been waiting about 280 days for this. So 
the day is finally here. And we haven't gotten to hunt for about six years, I think, together. So this will be pretty fun, no matter what. What is that? Scones. <laughs> Some foraged huckleberry scones. Yeah, it's the first morning, and uh, last night that bull bugled one time. I think he's probably a three point or something, just something small. And then he just wouldn't respond to any cow calls, any bugles, anything. I don't know. He was probably just piping off for some reason. So, we're gonna head up this morning and see what's, uh, what's going on this morning, but. It's rained last night, it's still raining a little bit. Different uh, change in weather, so hopefully it's for the better. We'll see. Saw a bull come out last night, truck drove, truck drove down the road with at least one in the bed of their truck, might have been two, it was kind of dark, so. I don't know, there's definitely elk up here. We just need to go find one. Good eats right there. <laughs> Day two. Homemade for mom. <laughs> one and a half. Yeah. We'll get on them today, I'm sure. to scare him away. Oh, 
How low is it? How long is your drone? Uh, 20. Want me to shoot him? 29. I'll shoot his ass. It's 29. I'll shoot it. So I'm not sure the audio is going to turn out. You're going to see the little bag in the side here, but whatever. Yeah, that's a good size black bear. Nice. Go on a bear. Go no, on a bear. bear. 
yeah he's he's not as big as the one Brian shot this spring that we got on video on my phone put it on YouTube but he's a beauty though he's a good size bear he's jet black he's jet black he's got a nice short stubby nose let's go check him out uh, you know obviously we try to be ethical but at the same time I didn't pack my bow I used to shoot that bow it, you know, we have a very similar draw length just a different anchor point so I was gonna draw and I was gonna practice and try to line up and make sure that I felt good about where everything was and then he walked out <laughs> so I didn't have a chance and uh, yeah I mean you know it's an unfortunate you know bad shot but it's I mean it stoned him so I think he was dead within yeah a couple minutes big old head on him. Actually, that's the next shot. I was gonna say, it was neck. Actually, you actually did. It's right through his neck. Dude, you lunged him. Uh-huh. Right through his, right through his neck and his lungs. That's a pretty mature bear, actually. He's got a big old head on him. Oh, yeah. He's just not very long. You guys probably saw black ghosts in the past. I mean, I'm not a bear hunter. You know, I just, I go, I'm an elk hunter and the shot presents itself at a black bear and I got a tag and it's not, you know, a sow with cubs or a small one. We'll go ahead and shoot it. So we're gonna get my pack on here real quick and then bomb it. Just cut her in half. Back legs, full front half. Skin on. I'm going for it. <laughs> Same trip. I was packing out my bull last time. Same, spot. Same exact story. It's pretty funny. This doesn't happen very, <laughs> very often, I guess. But I don't know. I anticipated killing another elk up there, but there's uh, I don't know. I'm just not up there, so I'm gonna find some new elk somewhere. I don't know, but hopefully everything turned out all right. Um, Again, I just I try to shoot boars. I didn't know it was a sow. It's kind of one of those things, you know, I know some people might be like, oh, you just shot a sow. But I'm telling you, man, when you're looking at her right there, 50 to 20 yards, she looked big and old. And I thought for sure it was a boar, but I just looked at her teeth and her teeth are ground down. She's probably 10 years old, if not older, I would imagine. I mean, she's got no, no front teeth on her, so. I don't know, and I can tell you one thing, she's heavy, she's big, she's got a big old head, so anyway, we're going to head down to town, uh, go get it checked up by FJP, go get the uh, processing done, and uh, come back up and kill an elk. Based on the fact that we're archery hunters, That gun still has a sticker on it. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. I guess, I guess we're just gonna break this gun in with an elk <laughs> and then we'll take the sticker off. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Last two days have been pretty unproductive. Got a tip from a buddy, new spot. I've already seen elk tracks, so hopefully we can find something in here. Knock her down. Feeling good about today. Feeling good about today. It's gonna happen. One animal. Just one animal. Hopefully with antlers. So for the second time, <laughs> I 
I'm trying to get my dad an elk, and then something else happens. Elk got turned into a deer hunt. <laughs> it was a bear, and now it's a deer. So he laid down right there, and I'm pretty sure I hammered him right in the right behind the shoulder. So got some uh, deer meat for the family. I'm gonna give it to my sister probably, and uh, let her let her and her kids and her husband Carl eat deer for a while. I mean, I got some meat in the freezer, so. Success is measured in different ways. He's nothing special. He's, he's either a forky or a three point, but I saw him through the timber. I thought I saw the antlers and then dad couldn't find him in the camera and he sat down here and t tore a tree up. It's what, the 20, 20th or the 21st of November. So they're a little ruddy. So he, he stopped and kind of tore up his tree a little bit and came out in this opening. He's only, I don't know, 60, 50, 60 yards. So hammered him and he's down. So. We'll go get the quarter and process done and hopefully get him back to the truck. Maybe come back out in the evening and watch the saddle for some elk. Perfect shot. That was right behind the shoulder. Perfect shot. I mean, that's what happens when you have a stabilizer. Use your pack. <laughs> <laughs> I, missed a, I missed a whitetail two days ago uh, offhand at like 50 yards. Scope was dialed down to nine power and uh, it was just too close and I was shaky and I missed a shot right over his back. So this time I was like, nope, pack's coming off. I'm going to make sure I got a good shot on this one. So we'll get him quartered up and He'll eat good. He'll eat good. Taken care of. No complaints. Like what? Boom! Oh, dead, son. Hit him with the classic, and then hit him with the classic. Hit him with the classic, and then the thirty on. Double classic. <laughs> <laughs> 